Welcome back to another LucaVision video and welcome back to another Euro Battle Tuesday! Yes! Yes, that's right. Euro Battle Tuesday is where I try and find out who is the LucaVision country of the decade. But how do you do that? I hear you will cry. Well, what we've been doing this series is taking each country, pitting them off against another country based on your guys' suggestions, and giving them mini battles from 2010 all the way through to 2020. And whoever wins the most battles progresses on to the next round to face another country. We've already seen the likes of Italy versus France, the UK versus Ireland, Greece versus Cyprus, and so on and so on. And if you haven't seen those videos, I'll post a link to the playlist. But we've come to the end of round one and we're progressing to round two next week. Can you believe we've had 20 Euro battles already? Absolute madness. Now today's Euro battle is a very special Euro battle indeed. As you can tell by the title, we are looking at Australia versus the Czech Republic. Yes, now unfortunately these two countries are not eligible to be in the running for the LucaVision country of the decade. This is because both countries have participated this decade from 2015 and it wouldn't be fair to automatically put them through when they haven't had any songs from 2010 to 2014. It kind of cancels out all of the other countries' songs from 2010 to 2014 in their respective battles. Therefore, seeing as they both competed from 2015 onwards in this decade, I thought it'd be fun to have a little bonus battle at the end of round one and see who wins out of these two countries. Both of which I feel like are super forces within the Eurovision world. I feel like they both bring such quality and refined entries each year and I can't wait to delve in and have a little look to see what they bought this decade. And what I thought was particularly interesting about this pair up was that apparently, as my very reliable Australian sources told me, uh -huh, uh -huh, you know who you are. Apparently there was a poll or there was a vote and Australia voted for the Czech Republic to host the Eurovision Song Contest if Australia were to win. So I feel like this is a very serendipitous battle indeed. But before we get started guys, I want to know who you think is going to win this battle for you compared to who actually wins the battle for you at the end. Don't forget to leave all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. But as we say here at LucaVision, enough chat, let's react. It is a very hot day today here at the UK and I've got my window wide open. So if my inner Kate Miller comes out, the neighbours better be ready. Let's go! So clip one will be Australia and clip two will be the Czech Republic. Alphabetical order. Deep. Guy Sebastian, he brought such a different funk to Eurovision, didn't he? And he's so charismatic. And his vocals, on point. I love the stage in as well. But they had to impress, didn't they, their first year competing. Oh, this was a power ballad. Yes. There's so much emotion and passion in this track. Oh, their tones, their vocals are amazing. But I'm sorry, Australia have got it. Oh. Robbed. Absolutely robbed. She looks stunning. Her vocals are fantastic. The staging is great. It's so simple, but she has whole control. Ooh, two, two powerhouse vocalists against each other. Two strong females. I love the instrumentation of this song. It's so slick and smooth, but I'm giving it to Australia. Oh, that was tough. Oh. It's Aya, honestly. Listen. The agility on his vocals. <laughs> So good. Okay, this one was a bit lacklustre for me, I must admit. She's got a great voice, but I find that it's very cliche. Like the whole tune is very X Factory and power. It's just, mm, we've seen it before. I'm giving it to Australia again. Oh, Jessica Malvoy! Her return to Eurovision as a competitor. She is great. She's got such a lovely rasp to her voice. And she's so feel good and love. I, I wanna I wanna marry Jessica Malboy. So come and give it to me. This is so different for Eurovision. 
I don't usually like rap, but I loved that. Czech Republic, you've got the first point of the Euro battle. That was amazing. I love Nicholas Joseph. Oh, here we go. Nothing holding me down. Mind's fault of the neighbours. <laughs> don't care. <laughs> this is iconic. Still love it now. Friend of a friend. I found this very hipster and very cool, but lacklustre compared to 2018. I know 2019 was a bit of a Jason Derulo ripoff, but I'm giving that to Kate Miller. That was, oh, Australia. I loved it. We actually put a bet on it to win, but it didn't win, obviously. Spoiler alert. Okay, Montaigne. Love the contemporary vibes of this song. I love how every movement has a meaning and you can really depict it and you could be here all day. Good hook as well on the melody. This has grown on me, Kamama. It's still not my type of music and I was really surprised to see that they chose this to enter Eurovision for 2020. But it's really grown on me. But I'm sorry, Montaigne's got that point. Australia have got the point yet again. Whew. Yes, Australia got that final point. I love how artsy Montaigne was. I love how they went down a different avenue. It was very contemporary and trendy, while at the same time having a real meaning behind it as well. It was so personal and raw. But pff, Australia kind of run away with that one for me, didn't they? I can reveal that my score at the end of that Euro battle is 5-1 to Australia. They really did run away with that, didn't they? I feel like since they entered in 2015, they really made an impact from the get-go, didn't they? But guys, as always, that's just my opinion. What did you think? Please let me know who you thought was going to win and then who did win at the end. Please leave all of your opinions down below. I love seeing the diversity in the comment section and having a sneaky read and a cup of tea at the same time. Typical Brit. Also, guys, let me know who you think should be battling it out in round two. I want to know your suggestions. Also, before you guys go anywhere, don't you forget to hit that like button to show me that you're behind the Euro Battle series. Don't you forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button. That way, you won't miss out on any of the Euro Battles and you won't miss out on round two. We're getting closer and closer to a winner, folks. But that's all from me. All that's left for me to say is thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Gubay together forever.